and hello YouTube, this is GS Man Smart, and I'm going to say with another brand new video for tutorials of GS. Now today we're going to have another video tutorial on Audacity, and this tutorial is going to focus on how to loop music tracks or how to loop different audio files so that it continues to repeat itself. This is something that a lot of YouTubers use with their background music, they'll loop the audio in the background so that it extends for the amount of time that the video is in length so they don't need to use a bunch of different songs and they can just loop one song. This can be very easily done in Audacity, and I'm going to be showing you how to do that today. Now, let me just grab a quick song from the YouTube audio library, because that's where most likely you'll get your music, but if you're getting music from anywhere else, then you could do the same steps that I'm going to be showing here. Let's just take... There's one particular song that I do like a lot, this one right here. And we're just going to go ahead and drag it in here. Now, as you can see, this song is roughly near to 3 minutes long. Say you have a 9 minute video, or say you have a 18 minute video, you want to use the same music track for the entire video. First of all, one thing you want to make sure, as usual, oops, is use your uh, zoom tool, and zoom in by left clicking, zoom out by right clicking. You want to use your zoom tool, and take out any of the white space here. So any part of the music that is quiet you want to take out. And this is usually near the ends and the start. Like so. Now with some music tracks you can you can transition these loops in much more clever ways. For example, you can sort of position um, the music tracks in loops. If there's a specific beat, you can match up the beat near the beginning and near the end of the song so that it looks like it's a continuous beat and there's no... You, you basically can't tell that the song is looped. So you can do a few clever things like that, but in, in general theory, you pretty much do the same style of looping for all audio tracks in general. So now that we have our track basically cleaned up to only have the audio here next thing you want to do is go up to tracks go to add new and if your audio track happens to have two channels like these one top and one bottom you want to go ahead and click the tracks go to add new and go to stereo track now if your track only has one track which is either one bottom or just one top or just one track basically you want to go to tracks and add new and add a mono track which would be actually I think it would be just called audio track would it yeah it would be audio track not mono track it will be an audio track so once we have that you're gonna go ahead and highlight this entire song right here or you can just you can either use your selection tool like that or you can double click it or you can just click the area around here and next we're gonna go up to edit and copy or control C and then in the second track down here, you want to sort of select the starting point of this song where you want the song to start looping. And we're going to go ahead and listen to it to see where's a good spot where we can like put it in. So right about there I think is a good spot to start looping it back in. And now if we listen to this... As you can see, it's barely even noticeable that the song has actually looped. And it sounds very clean and very nice. Now, if your song happens to uh, be a specific type where you can't really loop it in, a, in an easy fashion, and you want to have the, the song fade out and you want to have this fade in like these two audio tracks do what you can do is you can highlight the end of the first track 
and highlight a small portion of it. You can play around with how, how much or how small you want to have this portion, but well, what you can do is you can highlight a portion near the end and then go up to the effects and you can click fade out and this will basically fade it out. But since I already have a fade out, it doesn't need it. And then you go into the beginning of the second track and then you go to effect and fade in. But once again, my track already has a sort of fade in, so I don't need to do that. Oops. So you can do fade in and fade out if you need to. Now, if you if you have a um, if you have a five minute and fifteen minute video, then this would be it, and you could basically export your file. But say that your video is twenty minutes long, you know, you would have to do this. You would have to come over here and find the spot again, and then paste it again, and then continue here, and once again paste it again. And say that your video is like 30 minutes long and the song track that you have isn't 3 minutes long, it's only 2 minutes long. What you can do is once you have at least 2 layers here, what you can begin to do is you can actually start copying by 2. You can ha you can press the box up here and just copy, control C. And you can start adding on to the end here. And as you can see, it will actually paste the 2 layers with the correct positioning separation there. And you could do the same with the bottom. You can copy the bottom here, and then come back over here. And as you can see, it all makes the paste sit in. Now, if your video is past 20 minutes, say it's 40 minutes long, then you can basically click the box here, and you can copy all four tracks up here. And you could basically double the length by just coming over here and pasting again. And you basically have another, another, um, some more sections added onto the end here. That's if your video is quite long. For most of you, you may only have to, you may only need about, you know, two or three or four tracks, probably to the maximum. But that's basically how you do it. And after you finish with that, we're gonna go ahead and let's just give ourselves three tracks. I'm just pressing Control Z and Command, I mean Control Z and Control Y here to get some of the extra tracks off to undo it gonna go ahead and go with three right here and as you'll see the end point is right here this is where audacity will stop the uh, mixing process to make your uh, file so you don't need to worry about cutting the ends the end off here because it will not be part of your um, file so once you finished you can go up to file you can go to export and save it as anything And you will see that our, our original song, which was only roughly around 2 minutes and 50 seconds or 2 minutes and 45 seconds, you will see that that's, this song has been extended to a longer version, which we'll be able to take a listen to in a few seconds. Come back over here. You'll see a transition here. And you'll see another transition at about 5.15. That transition was, was a little off because we didn't paste it correctly. But you know, you can um, position your copy and paste a lot more accurate than I did, because I blindly did it. As you see, the song basically continues throughout the entire file, and the whole file is about 8 minutes long. So we turned our 3 minute, well, we turned our 2 minute and 45 second song into a 8 minute song. And you can now use this audio file to place it in your video. And this is actually how I uh, create my audio files um, with the YouTube Audio Library. I usually just uh, loop one song throughout the entire song and basically have it for the length of my video. So hopefully you've learned how to accomplish this. And I just want to tell you guys that I'm not sure if I'm going to be making more Audacity tutorials. If I do, it's not. It, it may be a while from now because I honestly have a good seven tutorials right now. A good seven or eight tutorials. I can't remember. I, I pretty have. A, I have a good amount of tutorials on Audacity right now and. Uh, Audacity is a pretty basic software, 
Yeah, you can't really do, you know, the, some crazy. You can't really do anything crazy on it. But, um. And someone loves to message me here. You can't really do anything massively crazy. It's pretty basic, so. If you want to check out the, the few tutorials that I do have, I think they'll be pretty. I think you'll, you'll be able to understand them, and they'll pretty much give you everything you need to know in generally about how to use Audacity. You should see the videos on screen right now with annotations. You may click those. But just a heads up for you, I'm not sure when I will be creating an Audacity tutorial because I'm not really sure what to create a tutorial on. I've pretty much covered you know, every subject to, to some sort of a degree. But um, if another tutorial does come out, it will be something new. If you have any ideas, have any questions, have any suggestions, or if you have any you know, ideas for some videos that I could do with Audacity, or if you have any uh, problems with Audacity, you want me to make a tutorial on it, you, know, you can definitely leave it in the comments, and I will definitely take it into consideration and maybe create a tutorial for it. But hopefully you'll be able to use this method in your future videos, and as usual, thank you for watching, and I gotta take care of these messages because they keep on popping up. So, thank you for watching, and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well, and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours, depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos, so if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out and if you like what you're seeing you can subscribe too really appreciate it you can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now and with that thank you so much everyone and this is gs man smart and i'll be back sooner than you think don't go anywhere